At the west end of the station is a point motor which has had to be surface mounted on top of the baseboard. It needed some sort of scenic cover to disguise it which could be lifted off should the point motor need attention. The station approach road will cross the tracks at this point so the obvious answer was a bridge of some sort. The outer track is very close to the edge of the baseboard at this point so a standard arch overbridge was out of the question as there was no room for the second bridge support. A girder bridge design was therefore decided on, joining onto a brick arch which would cover the point motor. The first stage was to build the brick arch and for this I used the Wills Brick Arch Bridge Kit SS53. However, I wanted the arches to look solid so used infills from the Wills Brick Retaining Arches Kit SS52 which I had spare from a previous build. Plain white plastic card was added at each end to keep the structure square and to give it strength. The cutout at the bottom is to clear the extender piece on the Pico point motor adapter base. This is the plastic piece which goes from the point motor to the brass rod that attaches to the point. The end was later completed cosmetically by adding the arch sides included in the bridge kit and can be seen in a later shot in this video. The girder part of the bridge was made from the Pico LK10 kit shortened to fit the site. One end would be glued to the bridge arch and the other end would rest on a retaining wall. The retaining wall was made using the second arch side from the wheels bridge kit. It would not be fixed at that end so that the whole structure could be lifted out when required. A piece of black 1.5mm plastic was cut to shape to form the roadway. This shot also shows the retaining wall mentioned earlier. Capping strips and capstones were painted as was the whole structure and the various parts glued together. For details of how I painted the brickwork see my previous video on brick retaining arches. The girder bridge part was painted in a mid grey colour and then rusted to make it look worn and unloved. The roadway is only wide enough for one vehicle so grey scatter was added to the middle of the road to help give it that small lane look. Downpipes and a wing wall were added and whitish water staining sparingly applied. Dark green paint was also thinly applied to represent where water might have run down the joints on the bridge. Scenic scatter and foliage clumps were also glued in various places. And finally, before, the four small pieces of wood glued on the board are to help locate the bridge in the correct position over the point motor every time it is replaced. And after, the completed bridge in position on the layout. I reckon it looks good. That's all for now. See you next time.